Yeah, you know, the biological aspects of, of video compression, or, or using human perception to make video compression better and to make experiences of the home better, is something that's very near and dear to my heart. It's actually how I got into broadcast video. Uh, I worked for a number of years at UC Berkeley um, in the uh, neurobiology department, actually, in, you know, investigating how does vision work, you know, sticking electrodes into the cells of the eye and looking at the biochemistry and the, and the electrophysiology of how light gets turned into perception in, in, the, in the head. Right? And in that process, um, uh, Jeff Bowen, who is uh, Dean of Biology at UC Berkeley, and myself came up with some concepts uh, that we then turned into some technologies, and that evolved into my role right now in Motorola which is to have a, a lot of know-how about how the human visual system works and try to tune the broadcast chain to, to match human perception, not just an engineer's idea of what's, what's a good signal to noise ratio. So uh, this is an opportunity, I think, for Motorola to take a thought leadership position again in the industry and to describe some of that background research and describe how that might be applied into products and actually to go beyond that now because Motorola has actually has, 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 has adopted some of this technology and is using it in the latest generation encoder, the SE6600 Rockstar encoder, in a, in a plug-in board that's called the Perceptual Video Processor. Uh, and this is the first attempt at, at a major um, uh, perceptual engineering uh, uh, approach to video compression. And what the PVP, the Perceptual Video Processor, does is it, it looks at content, looks at video, and, uh, and, and basically segments it into things that are very high perceptual significance and very things that are low perceptual significance. And at the same time, segments them on a different axis about is it hard to compress or is it easy to compress? And combines all information together to modify the video in a particular way that you can get, in, in, in some instances, a 50% uh, improvement in compression efficiency. And that's, that's really big, because if you can do that in an across-the-board way, it allows, for example, a satellite provider to add another channel to the transponder pool, or it allows an operator of telco service to maybe lower their operational bit rate in order to uh, add more channels to the lineup or to provide better voice or data services. So um, this is, I think this is an important turning point perhaps for perceptual processing in, in um, compression, uh, and it's the first stage where we can get some feedback from our customers and maybe from the industry and see where we want to go next.